does a racial issue be done away with, but the equality between men and women will be done away with. I have, I have a question for you, Karen. What you're saying sounds beautiful, but I want to ask you, why do you suppose Baha'u'llah called this particular issue about race the most challenging issue? Why did he put that first thing? Because it is something that goes from generation to generation. It's like Baha'u'llah talks about backbiting. Backbiting is something that kills a person's spirit for centuries. Racism start is a form of backbiting, really. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So what happens is you have started a, 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 a lie, you've begun to backbite, and it has taken centuries that, that that lie has gone through centuries and has destroyed people. So how are you going to get rid of it? It's going to take centuries before you get rid of it. There's something about racism that reminds me of slander. It you know, it's like slandering a whole group of people, saying, Well, this is how these people are. And after a while, these people start to believe that that's how they are. That's it. And they start living up to the stereotype, whoever these that's people it. are. That's it. Right? That's it. It's like training a child. If you continue to tell a child that he, he is going to act out that behavior, and, if you, and, and, and it, it happens vice versa, he will act out that behavior. So until blacks, we as blacks, begin to realize that we are beautiful because God says we're beautiful. Regardless of what you think or anybody else thinks, it's not important. The manifestation of God says, I am beautiful. And he tells me who I am. So once he tells me who I am, who you think I am, is of no relevance. Well, I think you're beautiful, Trina. <laughs>